everybody to The Single and Stiletto Show. I'm Suzanne Oshima, and I'm a matchmaker and dating coach at Dream Bachelor and Bachelorette, and I'm also the founder of Single and Stilettos. Today, we have one of my favorite guests on the show. It's Aviola Abrams, and she's a passionate living coach at aviolatv.com, and she's the author of the Sacred Bombshell Handbook of Self-Love. And welcome, Aviola, to the show. Well, thank you so much, Suzanne. I'm so excited to be here. Okay, ladies, if you haven't seen Abiola on one of my shows before, she's amazing. She has the most amazing energy. She can transform anybody, I swear. So, Abiola, before we jump into this topic of post-traumatic love disorder, and I know, ladies, you're all wondering, what the hell is that? Before we jump into that topic, Abby is going to tell us a little bit about herself and how she got into this dating industry industry. Yes. Okay. So first of all, ladies, you know, sit back because as Suzanne said, whenever we are together, it is a wild ride. We're going to have some fun, but most importantly, we're going to come away with concrete tools and tips on how to move forward your love, dating, and relationship life. As Suzanne said, I am a passionate living coach and I am passionate about your relationships and about you thriving. And I started working in this field uh, in part because of my own relationship woes and issues that I had, you know, coming when a, a marriage completed. And it was a really, really difficult time for me. And I didn't feel it at, a, at that time like I could turn to my family. I couldn't turn to my friends. And I really honestly just felt really, really alone and didn't want to recreate, keep recreating the patterns of my parents and other people. So I went about studying love and relationships to find out how to do better. And, you know, I then, of course, you know, I'm a big mouth. So anything that I learn, I want to share. So in addition to having a master's degree, I got my coaching certification and made my life about helping women learn how to live their best lives. Wow. So what you basically did was you mastered this all in your own life and now you're helping all these other women change their lives, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. And and the thing that I stress is that it's a journey that wherever we are, wherever you're stepping into it, you know, a lot of women, they feel like, well, why am I not there yet? I've read all the self-help. I've been to the forums. I keep watching your videos. I do all of this stuff. Why am I not there yet? And you are there where you are right now, wherever that is, this is there. And then we just start from wherever you are taking baby steps all of us are on this journey together. Suzanne is in it. I'm in it. You're in it. And we're all here together. So Exactly. It's not like you all of a sudden complete your journey and you're done. It's like a <laughs> lifelong thing. Yes. There's no hallelujah. I'm here. <laughs> you know, and a lot of people feel like that. Like, I honestly felt like that. Like, with get when I'm, you know got married, you know, with my first wedding. And I say my first wedding because I definitely will, you know, have another. But with my first wedding, like, I felt like, okay, even though I knew that there were problems, just get it. Let's just get down the aisle. And that will solve everything. Then we'll figure it out. You know, and a lot of people feel like that. They feel like, okay, when I get married, then everything is solved. And no, you've just begun another part of your journey. And just because a person is married doesn't mean that they're in a happy, healthy relationship. And I know that's what Suzanne is about, and that's what I'm about as well. Exactly. So, Abiola, I want you to tell our audience, what is post-traumatic love disorder? Because I know everyone's kind of getting that little dog look of, huh? <laughs> yeah, it has a funny name, right? Like, you know, a lot of, I, I use what um, my team calls Abiola vocabulary, which is, you know, vocabulary that I've kind of adapted to fit, you know, not only my one-on-one -on -one coaching clients, but the women that I speak to in groups and workshops and, you know, to adapt to, to kind of diagnose the conditions that I see come across, you know, my desk and come to me so that then we could come up with solutions. And I actually talk about post-traumatic love disorder in my book, The Sacred Bombshell Handbook of Self-Love, which you mentioned, in a chapter called On Letting Go and the Power of Releasing. Now, we all know what post-traumatic stress disorder is, right, Suzanne? It's when someone has been through a war or rape or traumatic situation and then has echoes of that situation is, and is unable to heal. That one of the things that I kept finding, not only with the women that write into me for my essence advice column or my blog or whatever, um, but in my one-on-one -on -one coaching clients and maybe you who are watching this, is that you know post-traumatic love disorder 
is being stuck in and still being affected by today by a past love, sex, dating, relationship situation. That, you know, this can look like different things for different women. For some women, it can look like, okay, you know, they are, you know, bed hopping and saying, well, I don't want to be in a relationship. And they've been doing that maybe for five years because it's their way of avoiding intimacy and avoiding real love and avoiding being hurt. For other women, it can look like, okay, well, I'm just not going to be in a relationship. I'm going to focus on my career and I'm going to be a workaholic. You know, that that's what it looked like for me. Like, you know, literally any addiction is about numbing and not feeling, you know, and it was like, okay, I'm going to use work in order to not feel and not deal with real life. For some women, it can look like, you know, just going from relationship to relationship. We all know, you know, some of our favorite celebrities who seem to break up with someone. And then by the, by the time we've registered that, they're with someone else. And again, this is a way to avoid learning yourself. You know, just like we have intimacy with other people, you have to have intimacy with yourself. And Suzanne, I would say the number one letter that I get from, you know, for from women is, why can't I leave? Why can't I move on? You know, there are women who are in relationships that they just know are not right for them, but deep down they afraid they're afraid of, you know, stepping away and not finding someone else. They're way they're afraid of being alone. They're afraid of someone saying, Oh, well clearly you couldn't keep a boyfriend or a husband or a man or whatever. And, you know, all of these things I put under the umbrella of having a post traumatic situation, post traumatic reaction to love, dealing with love. So, and those are some great examples, and I know, I think every woman out there has experienced at least one of those things. I know I have. When you were going down those, I'm like, oh, I was there once. (laughs) But how can a woman get over this post-traumatic love disorder and move on into a healthy relationship, And well, uh, before you first start dating, and then get into a healthy relationship? How can she do that and let go? Well, it starts with, you know, assessment of where you are and who you are. You know, if you're just running from situation to situation or if you're just blaming the other person, that also is, you know, not, you know, we can we can easily in these women centered forums kind of get into, you know, all these horrible doggish men. And it's like, OK, well, then why are all the dogs looking for you? You know, we've got to figure it, figure out what's going on with us. So self-assessment is the way to begin. Figure out, you know, put together what I call a relationship resume. I think we've talked about this before, you know, um, listing out, you know, what your past relationships have been and most importantly, what the lessons are that you've learned. You want to just take some time to heal, nurture, self-care, love up on yourself, you know, and get to a point where you have unconditional love for yourself. Because if you don't love you unconditionally, you cannot expect someone else to. And then when you're going back into the dating arena, This is really important that, you know, sometimes we feel like, okay, we had such a bad situation. We want to just stay out of it altogether. But no, the way that you really learn and kind of, you know, test yourself to see what you've learned. It's like in school, you know, when you would learn something and then take a test is by dating, by being out there, by, you know, not putting so much pressure on each dating situation and just taking baby steps, baby steps. If you're terrified to go and date and it, you may be making it mean more than you think. So today, just, you know, work on putting up your profile. You know, tomorrow you'll add your picture. Then you can meet someone for coffee. You know, just take little, little baby steps. You know, we crawl until we can walk. And that's how we move forward. That's exactly. How- and I love that you said that because I I find that when I get too overwhelmed with something, and it's not just about dating, it's anything in life. If you get too overwhelmed, like Abby always said, is just do one little thing at a time because if you look at the bigger picture and I know too many people do this a lot of people that I coach they'll say well what happens when I go out on the date what happens when I do this and what happens if I get into a relationship and I go okay let's rewind let's just focus on going out on the date we're not going to worry about what happens after because we just want to focus on the first date and that's it So just compartmentalize it and don't think too far ahead and just think about, I love how Abiola, you said, like, just go out on several dates because I completely agree with you is you need to date a lot 
Otherwise, you're not going to know when the right guy comes along because I hear all too often that, you know, a woman will go out on a date and then she's like, oh, he's not the right one. And then she'll go out on a date and, you know, a couple of weeks later and you got to date a lot because you're never going to know until you meet the right guy. You got, you know, that saying you got to kiss a lot of frogs. Yes. You do, you do, and you will know when the right guy comes along, but if you don't kiss a lot of frogs, then you're not going to know. Yeah, yeah, so get out there and just, you know, you can't just, the, mo the most important thing is, you know, like we learned in science, science class, an object at rest tends to stay at rest, an object in motion tends to stay in motion, and so it's about just putting that motion forward, and one of the important things is, you know, for those of you who are watching this video, this is a great first step, you know, I know that Suzanne has some wonderful online programs coming, and so do I, that you then want to just make sure you're getting information. It's great that you're watching this video. Continue to do that. You know, that the same mindset that created a problem can't solve it. So you want to read. You want to do classes. You want to work with a great coach. You want to, you know, get some new information and some new things happening in order for you to do better. Yeah, and I just want to add to that because it's it's about having a support network. I mean, your friends and family are great, but like Abiola's site, I know you offer a lot of great support forms. And being on my site, I offer a lot of support. And the thing is, is that when you have that support, it's not as scary. But I will tell you the scariest thing when you're getting back out there and dating, especially after what Abiola calls a post-traumatic love disorder, is the hardest part is just taking that first step. Trust me when I say once you take that first step, you're going to start to feel empowered. And that's what you want to do and have that support network that encourages you to take that first step. And when something happens, because I'm not going to lie, dating is not easy. There's going to be times where you're going to fall back or something's going to happen. You want that support network and goes, oh, that's happened to me. So you don't feel all alone. And this is what I did. And this is how I got through that. Right. Yes, that's that's so key. That's so key that that was one of the things that I did, you know, in my personal situation that was detrimental to me is not have a support network, as you said, that sometimes people are really embarrassed. You know, I was really embarrassed that, you know, things had fallen apart in the way that they did and I felt ashamed, but we're human beings. And so the more transparent we are about what we're dealing with and what we're going through, the more we can be of support to each other. So Exactly. And I just want to add to that because I used to try and be this, oh, I need everything to be perfect. And I used to hate to admit that something I failed at or something like that. Now I'm like, oh, I, I that's happened to me. But yeah. once you're like comfortable with admitting when something has failed or whatever, it becomes so much easier to talk about and you don't feel so closed off and like you're hiding things from other people. And it just, it's, it actually feels good to just let it out. Right, Aviola? Yes, and I guarantee you whatever you're dealing with, you're not the first person. You're not alone. You really, really are not. It can feel like when you're going through a big breakup, a divorce, some infidelity, um, whatever the situation is, like you're the only one, but you are really, really not. And so if you feel uncomfortable with your friends or your family, you can find a support group online. You know, find some, find, find your tribe online and find some people that you can confide in. Don't go it alone. Absolutely. Well, these have been some awesome tips. So, Abiola, I want you to tell our audience, number one, where can they find your awesome book? I want you to show your book because it's an amazing book. Sure, sure. So, you can find... <laughs> <laughs> the Sacred Bombshell Handbook of Self-Love, wherever you buy books. So, you know, Barnes & Noble, Amazon, you know, wherever you buy books, you can find it online in, you know, Kindle or Apple form. Or, you know, if you are like me and you love a good print book, you know, just go into your local bookstore. And if they don't have it, just give them my name and they can find it in the computer and ask them to order it for you wherever you buy books. And, of course, on my website, AbiolaTV.com is my main hub where the TV stands for transformation and victory. Oh, and everybody I know thought it stood for really TV, but uh, no, once upon a time it did, but now it stands for transformation and victory. And I will tell you, ladies, Abiola is amazing and she really can help transform you. So go visit her on her website and go get her book. 
And thanks, Abiola, for being on the show. And thanks, everybody, for joining us on the Single and Stiletto Show. If you like our show, it's available both in video format and podcast format. If you would like to view the videos, you can go to singleandstilettos.com. And if you'd like to get the podcast, you can download it from iTunes. If you'd like to get our free report on the top 10 secrets on what attracts a man and what turns him off, you can click right here on the video or you can go to singleandstilettos.com.